everyone. Um, welcome to the Google Students uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in today. I know some of you might be in classes, maybe it's lunchtime today, or maybe you're just waking up during the summer vacation, but it's great to have all of you here. Um, we're really excited, and I'll quickly go over the agenda with you today of what we're going to go through. We're going to have about five questions that we have for all our interns here today. Uh, we're going to go over the interview process, talk about student programs, and also have more time for all of you to provide more questions for us. So just to get started, um, let's get to know who's here today. So I'm Charlotte, I'm a University Program Specialist based in Singapore. Uh, hi everybody, I'm Snigta. I'm doing my computer engineering graduation from the National University of Singapore here, working with the ALO team. Hi everyone, I'm Singto, and I'm studying computer science at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland, and I'm with the next Finland Users team. Hi everyone, I'm Suresh. Uh, I'm a computer science undergrad at NTU in Singapore and I'm with the ALO team. Great, thanks. Great to have all of you here. And we want to know where all of you are tuning in from. So as you can see on the right side of this video, there's a live chat box and we have some chat moderators that are going to be there to answer your questions. So go ahead and tell us, give us a quick hello from the country or the city or wherever you're tuning in from or the school even. Um, now just to quickly go over internships, um, we're going to share um, that part of the experience is for you to just learn, apply what you've learned in school, and also get development and mentorship opportunities while you're at Google. And of course, we want you to make sure you're having fun. So, as you can see, all of our interns here are based in the Singapore office, but this is not the only office you can apply for. If you see this list, um, this shows all the offices in APAC will be hiring tech interns. So feel free to apply to any of these, take a look at what countries you might be interested in applying, and you don't have to only apply to software engineering, but you can also apply to a UX intern and other technical uh, opportunities there as well. So we're going to get started. I have about five questions for all of our interns here today. And around the fourth question, you can start typing your own live questions. So the first one, can you share kind of about your journey about how you came to Google? Um, so, in the last five or six years, I do not remember even a single day where I haven't used a Google product. So, that's where, where I started getting interested in working for a company who makes such amazing products that everybody uses every day. So, I kept pestering my mentors, my supervisors, professors, asking them, like, how, what do I need to do, what do I study, how do I prepare? They recommended I treat Cracking the Coding Interview, a book by Gail Lackman, as my Bible. And so I started reading up on it, uh, reading it up, uh, practicing the algorithms, and that's where my Google journey started. Cool, and what's that under your Android? Oh, I actually have Cracking the Coding <laughs> Look at Interview that. with me. Cool, so this is how the book looks. Thanks for bringing it. How about you? Yeah, so like Snigda, I've wanted to join Google since like when I was really young, and so far, I've applied uh, quite a few times, and only now have I gotten into Google. So I guess that shows that a lot of people don't get into Google on their first try, and that's completely normal. So don't give up and keep trying, and one day you like end up in Google like me. Yeah. <laughs> so I've always had a passion for building things that I can call my own, and even though Google is this massive company, it does generally operate like a startup internally, and we do build great products and rapidly prototype and things like that. So that's where I found my calling. Awesome, great to hear. So, of what you can tell us, all internships have a project. Can you share us a little bit about what project you're working on this summer? Um, so I don't know how many of you all know about Allo. It's a smart messaging app that Google launched in September last year. So I'm working with uh, the Android team, um, uh, the Allo's Android team, um, and I don't know how much more I can reveal about that, so yeah, that's all. <laughs> Oh, mysterious. Yeah, and for me, I'm working on systems monitoring and reporting. Monitoring being the different metrics such as server latencies and error rates, and reporting so that the rest of my team, the software engineers, can also know like what's going on in their backends. And I'm working on a project that hasn't been released by the team yet, so I can't tell you more about that. Very cool. Yep, I'm also working on the Allo team on a feature I can't tell you anything about. <laughs> Great, so very mysterious all our interns' projects are, but it's pretty normal here at Google, and it's pretty cool as well. Um, as we all know, Google has a lot of perks, we have pretty cool offices, so what is your favorite perk so far? Um, for me, it's knowing about uh, 
the projects that everybody at Google is working on. So I can just randomly ping anybody uh, on Google chat or whatever internal messenger we're using and ask them, like, I'm really interested in a project, tell me more about it. And they won't hesitate, they just come up, they'll, you can go meet them for a coffee chat and they'll tell you everything you want to know. So that's really cool. Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts too, is the people. And what about your favorite part? Uh, mine is that Google really takes good care of you in mm -hmm. terms of like providing you with foods and drinks, basically whatever you need. And it's always there like no matter how, how late you are in the office even. Like for example, Google even provides my team with dinner because we tend to stay a bit late because we are rushing on a new project. Yeah. Yeah, as, as someone who lived on a diet period of <laughs> junk food, the healthy food and the gym is a welcome change to my life. <laughs> Great. So awesome to have all these perks. And during your internship, you can really have the chance to experience the culture here at Google. And that's kind of the best part about internship. You get to really experience the culture and the real life of whatever company you're interning for, actually. Um, so we have a lot of people in the audience that they may be interested and how can we ace these interviews to Google, or in fact, any company that you're interning for? So what is your best interview tip for our audience? Apart from code, you're cracking the code. A phone interview procedure where you're supposed to code online and talk to the interviewer at the same time. So um, there will be times when you have a difficult question and you don't know what to do next. So you will just stop, keep whacking your brain, thinking, what should I say? What should I type? So don't do that. Keep talking to your interviewer. They're very helpful people. They've, been, they've gone through the process many times. They, they'll understand that you're facing problems and they'll guide you through the question. So don't keep quiet. Keep talking to them. They'll help you definitely. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, and adding on to what Snigga has just said, you should really make yourself comfortable that before the interview, make sure that you're prepared. You have a glass of water ready, that everything's charged up, and you, are, you have the dot open that you'll be coding in. And so like even if you are faced with a new problem that you might not have seen before, you wouldn't be like panicking. And if like you always have like thirty minutes to show the interview what you know and talking through the process. So, and the most important thing is to let them know how the way you think, yes. right? The way you approach the problem. So I think that's the tip. Yeah. yeah, adding on to that, remember that it's not an examination. Your final answer does matter, but what also matters is the way you came up with that final answer. So keep explaining your thought process. If you're going the wrong direction, the interview might even correct you. So it's a good, uh, it's a good way to uh, sort of correct yourself if you are going in the wrong direction. Great, these are awesome tips for our viewers. Thanks so much. Now this is a great time to start typing in your questions in the live chat in case you might have any, and we'll start answering them after we answer this question. So lastly, what is your favorite part about being a Google intern? Um, for me, it's being around such, an, uh, such amazing people, super smart, who know everything you want to ask them. Like they have an answer ready for every question you have. It's just amazing. Cool. Yeah, and my favorite part is like just the broad range of technologies and things that I can learn from my internship. Like right now, I'm working on like many different languages, such as Python and TypeScript, and even, we can even start learning things from other teams as well. Like yeah. we get to interact with people from the brain, the mm -hmm. brain team with each other about machine learning and neural networks and things that we're working on. So that's like a really interesting aspect of Google. Awesome. Yeah, what, what I like the best is how transparent it is internally. Even though you're an intern, you pretty much have the same access as a full-time employee. And you can look at any project that's been working, that's been worked on at any part of Google and see um, how they've done it. And that's, that's really great. Thanks. Um, now, just looking at the live chat, we don't have any questions yet, so we're going to save that till the end and we'll just move on forward to the internship interview process. So, uh, when you're applying for a job at Google, the process you'll be going through for interviews is uh, you'll go through two to three phone interviews first, and you'll be also talking with an engineer going through a review about which projects you'll be most best fit for. Um, you'll also go through a hiring committee, and then you'll finally get to offer stage. So, this entire process can take about I don't know, three weeks, but to also several months. I know that some of your process has varies throughout this time before you got here. Uh, now moving on to the specific details for phone interviews, just a few tips. And you've already heard several from our uh, interns here today. Um, just remember to manually invent in case you're not used to that. Make sure you have your cell phone charged because this is a phone interview after all. Uh, find a quiet location, be comfortable. Don't be running on a treadmill when it's time for your interviews or like inside McDonald's eating your hamburger. I mean, if that's what makes you comfortable, that works too. Um, 
have a pen and paper ready for scribbling and code and writing your ideas. And really remember to think out loud and make sure to communicate everything you're thinking to the interviewer because every, they want to know everything and not just the solution. And now moving on to um, how you can apply, just remember to go to this website, Student Careers, um, on the Google website, and just find what roles fit best for you. You can apply to more than one. Don't apply to like 10 to 20, but we recommend maybe two or three that you think you're really well fit for. If you know a Googler, it could be in any office, they can also put you in as an employer referral. Make sure you upload your resume and just click submit. Um, and lastly, uh, we have two programs you can keep a lookout for. We have Women Tech Makers. We just selected our scholars for this year, but uh, in case next year you're interested, applications open around, uh, around April or so, and you'll have information from your school about this. Uh, the next program that we also have, Code Jam Kickstart. So many of you may be familiar with Code Jam, um, that's from the North America teams, but we have Code Jam Kickstart in Inkpad, and this is a coding puzzle platform where you can develop your coding skills and just practice. Um, so the next round starts on Sunday. And you can go ahead to that website to see if uh, you might be interested and if you want to register. Lastly, uh, we have additional resources for all of you. So go ahead and take note, take a screenshot of this slide, and just see if this might be useful to you. And you can use it uh, when you're applying for internships or maybe even a job. Um, next, I think we have some time left. Let's see if we have any questions from our viewers on the live chat. Oh. Looks like we have a question. Um, can interns get to pick their own projects? Um, so after you go through the interview process, there's this intern questionnaire that you're supposed to fill in that uh, where you write what you're interested in, why you're interested in, what you're looking to lo learn from Google, etc. So that really plays an important role in selecting what project you eventually will be working on. So um, that is very important. Like Make sure you fill that up cor correctly and precisely. So yeah, you do have some control over what project you will be working on. Oh, that's some good advice. Any other yeah, thoughts? and adding on to that, even if you are assigned any project, uh, you do have the option to speak to your manager and change that project or take that in a direction that you want it to go in. So you always have that option open as well. Great. Thanks, Ben, for that question. We also have a question from Karen. How does it feel to work on a mystery project from a mystery team without being able to talk about it much? It's a really awesome feeling. So like the first day when I went into office, I joined a team which I didn't know about, and they told me about a project which I've never ever heard about before in my life. And it's a really great feeling that you are working on something new, that you are like one of the first people there having your hands on the project. And that's like a great thing to be part of, I think, building a new product. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Well, I think that's about all of our questions that we have today. Thank you all for joining. Um, Hopefully you were able to learn something new from this uh, live session. We'll have a couple more coming up, but do keep a lookout. Um, and thank you all for joining us. Feel free to fill out the feedback link in case you'd like to let us know about what we did well, what we could improve on. And any last words from our interns? Don't give up and keep trying. Yeah. <laughs>